Hey, what's going on guys? Uh, coming at you with a quick video showing off my new uh, Gemini playmat that I got from Ink Gaming. Uh, this is actually my fourth playmat that I've gotten from there. I just wanted to show it off real quick in the video. Um, as you can see, the image on this turned out amazing. Uh, if you're not sure what this is, uh, it's basically Brilliant Fusion in the background with a bunch of the uh, main characters in uh, the show Steven Universe, along with a lot of the uh, fusions. Of course, we have Garnet, uh, we have Jasper, Ruby and Sapphire, Pearl, Amethyst, Alexandrite, uh, the fusion of Pearl and Crystal Rose, uh, Crystal Rose herself in the background. So just an absolutely amazing image here. And what would easily be uh, my favorite playmat I've ever gotten from Ink Gaming, and maybe one of, if not the best, at the very least, uh, Gem Knight playmats you can ever get, let alone, you know, just best play custom playmat you can get in general. Only problem is, if we pan out, yeah, the image did not spread to the full mat, unfortunately. Um, I'm in a dispute right now with Ink Gaming uh, because I paid the extra $15 for the editing of the image, uh, and I wanted to have the image fully spread out on the entire 24 by 14 mat, but unfortunately, uh, something went wrong there, and we have this kind of tie-dye uh, rainbow um you know, blurred out montage here on the uh, two sides. Uh, honestly, even with that, it doesn't look too bad. And if you know, the dispute doesn't like result in me getting a refund or just a new mat sent with you know the problem corrected, I still may keep this because it's still a pretty solid mat. But it is frustrating that you know you invested forty five dollars into it, expecting you know the image to spread fully on the mat, and for that to not be the case. I mean, even if, like, when they spread this full image on the mat, like, if it came out a little, like, less uh, detailed as it is, because it looks amazing, just the image itself on the mat looks amazing, even if it wasn't as, like, high quality, I still would have definitely preferred it over what came out here, especially, like, the, um, the black, uh, the dark black edge lines here just make it easily look like a just kind of cheap, uh, crop on you know as a play mat and i don't want to trash ink gaming by any means because as i said uh my other free custom play mats have come from them and i've had no complaints up to this point um but yeah just wanted to show this off real quick um hope hopefully uh this speed will be resolved and we'll be able to get the, the proper play mat you're supposed to get uh but for now we have this uh, definitely not too bad um, remember guys to like comment subscribe um, i would normally say in my description or whatever to um what is it um when it comes to ads, don't skip it, just click it. But with the uh, change in uh, YouTube's uh, AdSense, the ad revenue, um, I no longer qualify for monet monetization because my uh, channel does not have a thousand subscribers yet. Um, I could go on a whole tangent about that on a different video, but you know, a lot of other bigger channels that are more important and actually you know need the money, um, you know, probably have talked about that. But basically, uh, they did it to. Um, keep from like these really small channels that just post like uh you know copied content or you know just really like clickbaity random content that don't have a lot of subs that keeps those channels from making you know abusing the system and making too much money but yeah this is the uh gem knight play mat uh hope you guys enjoy let me know what you think about this mat in the comment section below uh do you think that i should actually get the refund or get a new mat um, and what do you think of this mat in general? Do you think it's fine as it is? Or do you think this was, you know, a big mistake by uh, whoever made the mat? Uh, so, yeah, again, guys, like, comment, subscribe. Uh, Going to be uh, bringing you guys some more Gem Knight content here soon. Uh, using the new mat, uh, some combos, an updated profile. Uh, it's definitely going to be the uh, deck that I look forward to hopefully being able to take to the next closest regional. Or actually not regional, but OTS event on March 10th over in uh, Bethel Park, PA. So, do be looking forward to that. Um, so yeah, catch you guys next time.